Hi everyone, how are you? It's me again, Teacher Reese, and welcome back to our music class. So today, we are going to have our first lesson for the second reading period. So are you ready to learn? All right, that's good. So at this time, we are going to talk about the music of East Asia, specifically in China. Okay, but before that one class, let me share to you first East Asia class or the Far East, okay? It is composed of different nations, composed of nations of Japan, North and South Korea, China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and Mongolia. But this time, we are going to talk about music of China, okay? So China class was the first great civilization in East Asia that strongly influence the cultural development of the Asian people. Okay? So again, China was the first great civilization in East Asia that strongly influenced the cultural development of Asian people. Okay? So let's start with the music. Chinese music class has been known historically since the dawn of Chinese civilization with documents and artifacts providing evidence of the well-developed musical culture as early as the Zhou Dynasty. So that was 1122 or 1122 BC to 56 BC. Okay? But today, class, the music continues a rich traditional heritage in one aspect. So, uh, while emerging into a more contemporary from at the same time. That's it. So, again, class, uh, their music, the tonal system is founded on the 12 pitches of the octave generated from the spiral of the fifth, okay? So, folk Chinese music class is primarily melodic and uses the pentatonic scale. What is pentatonic again? Yeah, there are five tone scale. Okay, very good. Another one, class, Folk music is also part of Chinese heritage, which is similar to other nations. So other nations uh, in East Asia, uh, folk music is also part of their um, nation. Okay, Workers also class sing about their work and farmers sing to celebrate harvest. So once they, well, if it's time to harvest their um, plants, their vegetables, crops, they're going to sing with it. Okay, Workers will sing. Okay, while well harvesting. Okay, popular Chinese music is associated with the theater or the theater. Okay, so their um, popular Chinese music is very loud and raucous. What is raucous? What is a raucous class? It is a uh, very noise or loud noise, very loud noise and very shrill. Okay, melodic lines. Okay, we're talking about popular Chinese music. The melodic lines of their popular Chinese music are limited to two or three dozen tones. So, what's two to three dozen tones? So, 24 to 36 tones. So, that's their limit. Okay? And Chinese also class is inflected. It's an inflected tongue. And there is difficulty in distinguishing the part at which songs ends and begin. So, that's how their music goes. Okay? So another um, history of music of China class, this is the story of their music in China. So myth or myths of China tells us that its musical system was rooted in the legendary cutting of bamboo. So uh, their music uh, formed from because of the bamboo, bamboo pipes. So the root or the legend of the music in China, okay, that's the myth, that's, that's their belief. Okay, uh, the root or the legend of the music in China is came from the bamboo pipes. Okay, that was the ideals of Confucius are the basis for a to a twofold division of the music. Again, class, let's before Confucius, the legend. Okay, the legend of their music is came from the cutting of bamboo pipes. So music to the Asian people is closely related to the myth and beliefs of ancient culture so they believe they, they also so they also have superstitious belief they also have a myth okay beliefs 
So the myth of China tell us that its musical system was rooted from the bamboo pipes, okay? Their music is used in teaching and giving power to um, the government arrive at harmony and cooperation in society, okay? So another one, the music of China class, the ideals of Confucius. By the way, class Confucius is a, a Chinese philosopher, okay? He's a, a Chinese philosopher. Of course, uh, look at his uh, looks, okay? The ideas of Confucius are the basis for a two-fold division of music into first. So this one, these are their ideals. Or these are the um, ideals of their music when it comes to, to music of China. We have Yayoi, or we call it Yahweh, okay? Yahweh class is an elegant music or elegant music. The Suyuwai class is a popular music. Now, if I am going to ask you, what is the popular music of China? So the answer is Suyuwai. Okay? So let's proceed to the Yaiwe. Okay, Yaiwe. This refers to the music used in Chinese courts some 2,000 years ago class. So it was influenced by Indian, Persian, and other Central Asian traders. So there are two types of Yayoi class. We have Yayoi, which is Chai music, and Tiangko, Tiangko, which is the chant music. They also have chant music, okay, or chant song, okay? So let's proceed to, okay, the Chinese believe class, uh, the Chinese believe that music is related to the forces of nature. So they believe that, uh, again, the legend, go back to the bamboo pipes, that's the legend of their music. That is why their music form. okay? The Chinese believe that music is related to the forces of nature. They believe in nature. So Yayoi class musical is a type of musical ensemble uh, for Chinese, okay, for Chinese people. So their musical ensemble, we have Yayoi. And their musical ensemble class uh, made up of metal, stone, wood, clay, silk, bamboo, and height. Now, these are um, the sources of their instruments. So the instruments that they use is made up of metal, stone, wood, clay, silk, bamboo, and height. It's very unique, right? So that's it. And another one, class. Okay, let's have, I mentioned a while ago about the pentatonic scale. So let's have the Chinese musical scale. So there are only five tone scale, right? The C, D, E, G, A. So ours is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. But for the pentatonic scale, which is five tone scale, there are only five. The C, D, E, F. A. Uh, no, there's no F. C, D, E, G, A. So there's no F. So it's Do, Re, Mi, Sol, La. Okay? That's their five-tone scale. Now let's proceed. But then, class, um, it's not just five-tone scale, class, because um, the during the times of um, the Chinese musical scale is composed of five notes, right? But however, in 1122 BC, during the Zhu Dynasty class, two notes were added. So what are those? We have the F sharp and the B. Okay, this one. Okay, as you can see, there are five here. But two notes were added when uh, during the time of Zhu Dynasty. So uh, we have F sharp and B. Okay, so that's how they're going to read it. So instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, t, uh, t, until t, there's no more uh, repeat than do. We have gong, shang, chao, pian, che, che, yang, pian, gong. Uh, that one, that's how pian, gong. There's no do. Gong, shang, chao, pian, che, chi, ye, pian, gong. Like that. Gong, shang, chao, pian, che. It's just until that one. Okay? You familiarize this one. You sing it. That's it. Again, the two notes added were, were F sharp and B only. Again, 
空上桥边恰恰也边空。That's how they're going to sing the scale of their music. Okay, that's it. Now let's proceed. They also have the chart of the eight sounds. So they have eight sounds class. They use this one in composing their music. We have first chung, ching, yu, shuan, ko, tiang che, sheng, shu. Okay, so chung class is made up of metal. Okay, chung class, the sound of their instrument class. Okay, chung it is made up of metal and it sounds like bells. Okay, again, chung is made up of metal and the sound is bells. Okay, it sounds like bells. Ching is made up of stone and the sound is chimes. All right. Yu is made up of wood, but it has a boxes. It is a uh, boxes that are scrap or struck. Okay, so this is um what type of instrument? Yes, it is percussion. Shuan, it is made up of clay. It is a globe-like pot, so that's how it looks like, the shu one. Ko, it is made up of skin, drums with stretched animal skins. Okay, so percussion instrument again. Another one is tiang che, the bamboo made up of bamboo, pipes and flutes. Okay, this is now the wind instrument or woodwind. Sheng, it is made up of gourd mouth organs okay and lastly we have the last one shu made up of silk and this is a string instrument so in short class their musical ensembles is made up of um percussion instruments string instruments and wind instrument usually okay again what are the eight sounds of music in china we have chu cheng yu Shuan, Ko, Tiang Che, Sheng Chu. Okay, you familiarize that one. Okay, now let's proceed to the examples. Okay, let's look, let's check. Okay, these are the four common instruments that they use. We have Chung. As what I mentioned a while ago, Chung is made up of what? Metal. Okay, it sounds like bell, of course. Can you see that one? Chung class is big bells that gives the signal for the commencement of the musical performance. So this is uh, bells or chung will be the first to produce sound before the ensemble started. Okay, so again, chung is big bells that gives the signal for the commencement of the musical performance. Let's have the chang. The chang class is a chime. This is an example of their chime. How are you going to play that one? You're going to slap it together, right? It is a resonant panel which indicates the beginning and the end of the musical piece. So at the beginning, there's a teaching sound or the chime. And at the end also, there's a chime sound. Okay? Next, we have the chen. The chen. It is derived from silk. It is made up of silk. A fritted long zither. With five or seven silken strings. So the chen, just imagine seven strings, and it is a fritted long zither with five or seven silken strings. And lastly, we have guzing. Okay, class, guzing is a large zither with 21 strings and movable bridges. Look at that. That is made up of 21 strings, and it's also movable, the bridges is movable. Okay, it's actually actually big. They use this one in uh, during um, theater when they perform orchestra. Um, they for perform the musical ensemble. What do we call to the musical ensemble of China? It's Yayuwa. Okay, so I guess that's all for today. I hope you've learned something from the music of China. Okay, so if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask the teacher. Okay. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something. Bye bye and take care.